Today is December 2nd, 2016. It's a Friday. It's December. It's, it's Everything's great, John. Good morning. Everything's not so great, Andrew. There's some things that are great, but not everything's great. Yeah, don't get me started I mean, on my you know, positions. The market's not doing much. Uh, if you're in the selected right stocks, the correct stocks, you're doing okay. One of those, by the way, is Pandora, symbol P like Papa. And that one is uh, just pop, pop, popping to the upside. If you uh, follow our tweets, you'll see that I put out the volume. Yeah, you don't hear me? No, I hear you. Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, it's, uh, do we need to right? start over? Yeah. That's, that's what podcasts are all about. All right. Mm-hmm. Well, the uh, it popped, pop, pop, popped uh, Tuesday. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, like 3,000 of the December 12s trade very aggressively for 50 cents. Um, and then today, there's rumors of a takeover, Andrew. And you know what rumors of a takeover do. Send the stock. Drive the stock up. And it also gives you an opportunity to sell. Yep. As well, as I'm concerned. Favor. CNBC's own David Faber says Pandora is open to a sale, remains in a very early process, engaging in talks with Sirius XM. How about that, baby? And uh, the stock, which I am crazy long, knock on wood, because of those unusual activities, is uh, trading up through 13 bucks. So happy camper so far here today, Andrew. Sell it. What is Pan? What is Pan? What does Sirius need Pandora for? They got their own. Not only does Sirius have a nice channel, they got their own app, but their own music. I use it every morning. Anyway, just saying. Yeah. Well, just saying. Two sides we'll of the market. Um, how about that Facebook? You still messing around with that? Yeah, you know, I was happy with it earlier this morning when it went up through 116. Now it pulls back, you know, to 115. I'm not as happy. But, uh, yes, still in it, still, you know, trading. Um, Knock on wood, uh, my account's green today. Uh, A significant pop out of Pandora didn't hurt, but... uh, I did some MDT yesterday. I called it out live on TV, Medtronic MDT. Yeah. Took some nice profits on that this morning as it surged to, uh, uh, gosh, how much did the stock go up? Let me see, Andrew. MDT, 72.45. Hit a new 52-week low yesterday. And, and uh, you know, I'll take it. It's, you know. Life is uh, all about uh, opportunities, taking advantage of them, and moving on, Andrew. Just I don't stay married to any of these positions. Just FYI, back to that whole Facebook thing. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I, I could be wrong on this. I'm just seeing less of my friends posting on Facebook. Now, I, don't, I know you post on Facebook because it goes automatically. But yeah, I'm, from I'm, my Instagram. And I follow very few people. I don't think people are engaging as much anymore. I think people are sick of it. I don't know if it's an election thing. I heard some people saying, well, yeah, about their news feed. And I'm like, their news feed is us. Let's be real. They don't have a news feed. It's us. So if Andrew's right, folks, uh, and I'm not saying he is, but he might be, you know, Andrew's uh, our social media maven. Um, If you're right, Andrew, then that's a problem for them. But as far as Facebook and a news feed, it ain't a news feed. It's neither is Twitter. It's the sum of all the people that contribute, some of whom are scamsters, some of whom are pasting fake news. But the vast majority, like 99 percent, are putting up pictures of their dogs, cats, of me out at the Christmas tree lighting at the New York Stock Exchange last know, night. That was which cool. I was there for. That was actually kind of cool. You, you had some good pictures. You met Scaramouche How about one day. Christy, Christy oh, Brinkley yeah, you met Christy there last Brink- night. What up? Oh my God! Did she, how'd, how'd she, this isn't, wait, wait. I know. I know some of you guys she, listening are going to say, "Oh, John's going to be a lech." No, a lech. Uh, she was so so uh, pleasant, bubbly, nice, and. Gorgeous. I mean, her skin and everything. I mean, oh my god! How'd she gosh. smell? How'd she smell? She had perfume on. Yeah, yeah. She smelled great. <laughs> uh, had that champagne, that Bellissima or whatever you know, whatever her brand of champagne. Oh, she is that was what pushing. she was pushing? Huh? But oh my god, it's that called is Bellissima. A very uh, just a she just. 
Ah, Wait, let's, we could do this whole me. podcast about Christy Brinkley. Okay, back up. <laughs> yeah, C. Brinkley, S-E-A Brinkley. Was that her if Twitter you, handle? That's her Twitter handle. If you go yeah. there, you'll see, you know, what's going on there. And uh, <laughs> that is a beautiful lady, though. I can imagine. Uptown girl. Yeah. Still, mm-hmm. still is. She was downtown last night. And then you were, oh, at, yeah. and then you were out at some other thing the other night. You were posting pictures of Scaramooch out at some our baby thing, or hey Pete, I'm going to have to give you a call back. I'm on doing a podcast with Andrew. Pete needs to be I'm on. I'm on with a podcast with Andrew. That was just Pete dialing in, folks. But uh, it can wait. We got a thing going on here with Andrew on the podcast. All right. All right. I want to keep you, but we were talking about Christy Brinkley. My yeah, mind, we my mind was drifting away. Mm-hmm. Speaking of uh, Christy Brinkley and her golden locks, what's up with gold? What are we doing? Well, um, I know your guy says one I'm thing. I'm in the GLD guy. contract, okay. and I bought it yesterday. Full disclosure, you know, put it out, and uh, didn't hurt that our friend um, Jeff Gunlock at Double Line Capital uh, said, "Hey, I think bonds have topped out. I think the dollar's topping out, and I think gold's going to turn here." And obviously, being on the right side of that trade along with Jeff helped out a lot because it went from below 111, I think, to uh, let me see where the GLD is this morning, Andrew. GLD. Looks like uh, the gold is through 112 on the GLD Trust. So it's about a half a percent. I'll take it. Haven't cashed out yet. I think there's more. Um, and I have a spread anyway. So I have, you know, long time to hold. And uh, this, these were March calls they were buying. So hopefully it plays out that way, Andrew. Okay. And now some other big news. Um, just throw a quick one out before we get to the Starbucks. WDAY. Yeah, work day. Um, is that, WDAY is, that- is, yeah, take a look at that thing. You know, disaster to jour. Um, work day uh, basically down, I think, almost at the lows of the session. The low was 67.03 so far today. Just uh, half an hour into trading at 67.74 WDAY. And wow, uh, that that's a big drop, 17%. They're an enterprise cloud app, uh, and, and uh, obviously n- things aren't as good for WDAY as they had been, Andrew. And so like they had a date when they leave, they leave in droves. <laughs> looks like they had a date with Big Bob. Hmm. Well, you know, they guided Billings um, and the conference call and so forth yesterday. Uh, everybody was cutting price targets today based on that conference call. So I saw J.P. Morgan cut them from 92 to 85. Uh, RBC cut them from 102 to 85. Wedbush, 82 to 77. Cowan, 83 to 73. So these are big cuts. Um I would not step into this one today. Oh, I'll yeah. give it some time. Yeah, it's not a name that I really care to own. Okay, back to what I'm not drinking is Starbucks. I'm having actually. I stopped at Pete's. And I got a cup of coffee because I'm more of a Pete's fan. See, because you care more about flavor, probably. Yeah, I brought my. I That's got, why you drink. <laughs> I got a new stuff instead of I, Starbucks. I got a new thing. I bring in a large cup and I say, "Can you mm-hmm. put a small in this?" <laughs> And they like almost fill it up all the way because they don't even think. Right. So he's, anyway, not a scam. I like that. I like well, they, that. Well, the guy says, it. he goes, you sure you want a small in here? I said, yeah, because it spills because I'm on my bike, which is true. So I don't want it to fill up all the way. So I did that. Anyway, I was at Pete's. So Starbucks CEO stepped down, the guy that wrote the book. What do you think? I think Howard Schultz is a genius. I think he did a great job building the company. I don't think the company will miss him at all. First of all, he's not leaving completely. He's still going to be executive chairman. Second of all, he's going to focus on their high end, which is what they need to focus on, because the other stuff's like, you know, conveyor belt, you know, crappy, uh, just uh, automated. I, I hate it. What, I the mean, coffee, I have the taste? Good. I, I think the coffee beans taste burned um i only it's twice as much as you know i at the airport uh, whether i'm flying private or if i'm flying through o'hare andrew if i grab a coffee at the mcdonald's it's a dollar 90 at the airport which we all know is like a marked up 
place versus, you know, a McDonald's you walk into elsewhere. So it's a dollar ninety. Okay. If I grab the same venti, in other words, twenty ounce coffee down at the Starbucks, how much do you think it is, Andrew? Uh, at the airport, probably about three, four bucks. Yeah, three fifty five. Damn. <laughs> So, I mean, you know, one, it is not better, it's worse. Two, it's more expensive. If I wanted a, uh, a white, a flat white or a latte or a cappuccino, which I don't, but if I wanted that, I would go to Starbucks, but I don't want that. I just want a cup of coffee and I want to go. And this guy, the new chief operating officer, Mr. Johnson, who's stepping into the role, will do just fine at making sure they can get the cup of coffee to you quickly, pay fast, get the heck out of there. That's what's, that's what's good for Starbucks bottom line. Schultz can concentrate on the other stuff, like, you know, the experiential stuff where you can charge a fortune for a, you know, a barista that really uh, is, is a craftsman or craftswoman. Yeah. That's great. I think Let people, him do that. People go to Starbucks so they can just sit on their laptops and stare at them. Trust me. I walk by one every day. Um, Speaking of that, somebody was snarking out that uh, the guy running Starbucks now used to work at Microsoft and wanted to buy Yahoo. He was the guy, mm-hmm. Johnson. He was the guy that wanted to spend like $38 billion. They were, I don't know. It was kind of one of those sort of snarky off the cuff. Hey, look what he did over at Microsoft. Now he's at Starbucks. Hey, one other thing since you mentioned Vente. Yep. That's an Italian word for 20. That's an Italian word, and we got an Italian referendum this weekend, right? I know. We cannot go without mentioning that on a Friday. Um, we saw some activity on the VIX yesterday. Somebody was buying, uh, it's only 3,000 contracts, but they were weeklies. Um, I posted on the video, I, I posted Italian job. So yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. But what do you think? You think that'll. Uh, Maybe short term in the market, but yeah, I think if you're if you're a sophisticated investor, you take advantage of this by, uh, and or if you're hedging, you buy a VIX call spread. So the VIX is at thirteen eighty four as we record. That's the cash VIX right now. You get in there and you buy something like, you know, the uh, just in case, little protection and so forth, a little protection. You buy like a twenty lot or whatever of the one eighteen. I'm sorry, the eighteen twenty four spread. Something like that, a six-point spread that you just pay a little bit for. If there's something happens that's scary, it'll help cushion the blow for your portfolio. If you're wrong, you can take it off. You lose a dime. I mean, yeah. it, as long as you don't hold it all the way to expiration, that is. Now, what and the, I'm not going to hold it till and expiration. And the referendum Sunday night expiration mm-hmm. on the VIX is Wednesday. They were doing weekly. Yep. So this is like you said, you know, chuck a chip at it and see if you know. Yeah, I, I know, you why don't, not? Yeah, yeah. You got a D7 expiration. You could buy the, like I said, if you bought the 18s, they're 72 cents um, uh, for the 18 calls that I was talking about. Um, if you sold the 24s, you're collecting 32 cents. So you've got, you know, call it um, uh, whatever, 40 cents on the table. Uh, Monday morning, if nothing's bad's happening, you punt the thing out for, you know, up to half of that for 20 cent loss. I think you probably only lose 10 cents, but you lose 20 on that. Meanwhile, if, if something bad happens, this spread goes to a buck real fast and then a buck 50 and it's a $4 spread. I don't hold it till expiration, but I think you cash out quick. Mm, that's a weekend thing. Yep. All right. Well, I would, we, we're going to get off cause we like to keep these short, but I wanted to talk football about to go how about them cowboys but we'll save that for monday 11 in a row never been done before i'm rooting for the rookie man i love him isn't he good i, mean, I, just, Scott, I love him good news story hey why not all right man have a good weekend Andrew? and um also what is i going to mention oh if there's something else i'll have it on the vix report maybe there'll be okay. some trades on the weeklies in that italian uh referendum vote and i'll, I'll shoot those over to you and if you You'll get them from me, but if I'll put them on the video, whatever. You know what I'm All saying? All right. Fantastic. Thank you, Andrew. Remember, right. folks, you can subscribe by hitting iTunes or YouTube and hit the subscribe. All right. Thanks, man. Later. Bye-bye.